Lighting is life. It is an art, it is a science, it is whatever you wish to make it. Have an open mind. Have no prejudice. Take everything from square one. It makes life so much richer. My name is Jason Edling. Lisa Bartlett. Sarah Schonauer. Jim Bainey. Andrea Hartranft. My name is David Gatton. Kelly Roberts. Stephen Rosen. Jody Pritchard. Kristen Peck. My name is Julio Pedelta. Nancy Clanton. Dane Sanders. Jennifer Sanborn. Rachel Fitzgerald. My name is Howard Branston. Addie Smith. Chip Israel. Dan Weissman. Kevin Frary. My name is Charles Stone. shaped by light. It's an awareness that I have all the time. It changes the way the space looks. It could essentially change how, how big or small the space feels. I'm constantly aware of it, and it's more like a, a craft. It is the epitome of the mix of art and science. How people see and how they experience space, but really ultimately understanding the architect's vision. What's important to them? Uh, what are the materials in the space? It means listening. It's the glue between a lot of other activities that go on in our projects. That intersection between architecture and space and sort of function and aesthetics and mixed in perception and kind of how we experience the world. Really almost borrowing from what we see in the natural world and bringing that down to a smaller scale. Creating an emotion in the space. And we have to kind of understand what their challenges, what their visions, uh, you know, are. And design solutions to solve that problem. To just listen, listen to the vision, listen to the purpose, to make everything simpler and smoother for everyone that's involved. start by enhancing and reinforcing the architectural concepts. And making sure that it's constructible and affordable and meets all the other criteria that are part of the overall challenge. And then translate that using this very cool and complicated tool to be able to help make everybody's lives easier. We see things through a different lens and we're thinking of plot twists and opportunities that aren't apparent to the architects or the interior designers. You really have to kind of cater to, to the vision of what they have and then, and then create that, turn that into a reality. But they, can't, they can only articulate part of the story and you have to finish something that they're going to be happy with in the end. I think lighting is somewhat that way, right? When it's all said and done, we create a visual experience you know, that is stimulating, that people feel good, that is human-centric. Learning to see is a matter of life. When you start to really have an awareness of the world, it's a richer, it's a richer experience. Many people think of lighting as how much light falls onto my desk surface. And that's important, but that's just one component we look at. Lighting designers exist because they have the artistic vision, but then they know the technology in order to, to make the vision actually exist. It is painting with light. One of the great things about lighting designers is they're very experienced. 
they have this wealth of knowledge of do's and don'ts and what's worked and what hasn't. We're working with possibly 50 to 100 different design teams. There's also this responsibility for a lighting designer to come in and set the tone for a creative conversation about it. ICS is incredibly influential in helping make sure the vision of how people that design spaces, the architects, right, actually have people experience their space. The core of lighting design is actually really about architectural psychology. Light is obviously the sort of at the core of how we visually perceive the physical world. It's the right amount of light in the right location and on for the right duration. This set of orchestrated experiences that sort of take your eye from place to place in a space can be very valuable to our clients in terms of how they experience that space and then the moods that start to arise from experiencing that space. And we might have to politely say, let's move the door out of the end of the corridor, put a piece of art. Why? Because we want to illuminate that art. Make it so that somebody without even thinking about it, their eye is drawn there. And that's where they, they gravitate toward. And now you have a journey into the space, right? And the lighting designer's agenda is to protect the lighting design and ultimately protect the design intent of the project. You're making intentional choices about how you want people to experience the space. Everything that's important about the project is realized. And so lighting designers are important because they're juggling all of that, right? And lead the team to a single solution, the best solution for that project. Lighting design and lighting reveals form, it reveals dimension. It's all about where you put the shadows and how you apply the shadows. An idea is an idea, whether it's good or bad, whether it comes from me or somebody else, doesn't matter. We have this theory that the best idea should win out. You need to be able to relinquish some of that freedom to others who may have the right idea or the best idea in the room. In a way that's non-judgmental and that's sort of that unconditional love of creativity, let's just throw everything out and see what sticks. But there's also creativity in problem solving. I actually thrive on having some boundaries and something that's difficult, so we're overcoming a hurdle. Understanding those and being able to manipulate them at a, at a very high level is something that, to me, is, is, is design freedom. Sometimes more parameters sort of guide you to an answer that you might not have seen otherwise. It doesn't have to be artsy-fartsy. It can be a great idea executed very methodically or it can be a spur of the moment decision to add flair or... <laughs> I think the biggest thing about creative freedom is that the people who hired you remember why they hired you. To have the users go, I love this space, and they have no idea that lighting has something to do with it. What we're really about is crafting exquisite luminous environments and understanding human perception and how we experience the world through light. What people don't know about lighting design is that a lot of times we'll get RCPs. Don't forget about the stuff in the floor. We're talking at SD about where we're gonna have lights in the floor and let's coordinate with the structural engineer to get things in the foundation package. But we won't get plans, we, go, we won't get elevations, and we really need to be able to design lighting understanding the space in 3D. Is there a discussion we could have about who's using the space or what's the big picture about how people should feel when they go into this space and how they should feel when they come out of it? So we'd like to sort of blow the top off of that idea that, that lighting design is about picking equipment. We see equipment as tools in our tool bag that we're grabbing for and reaching for uh, to be able to go sort of way beyond that. Lighting designers don't work in a vacuum. That's, that, that's one of the things I love most about lighting design is that you are working as a group, you are consulting with the manufacturers, you're consulting with salespeople, you're consulting with a whole litany of people trying to filter things down and then ultimately make a decision, but it is influenced by many, many people. I mean, you know, we, we spend like 10%, maybe 15% of our time designing it, like coming up with the idea, but then to implement it, execute it, it's the other 85, 90%.
I think people don't understand how much fun it really is. Lighting design is invigorating. You get to learn all day long. Like just constantly growing. Because lighting is changing so fast that you you never know everything. And you never will know everything. And the idea that you can't know just means that you're never bored. Each day you should go and learn something. You should things you think you're good at, you're probably not as good as you need to be. Passion is at the heart of everything we do. I think about your desire to learn. I think about your preference. I think about how big the space is. I think about how it will be your space. I think about the journey. I think about creating an idea that you can build. I think about controlling light. I think about future proofing. I think about what you want to see. I think about the artwork. I think about how you can be great. I think about how you focus. I think about the story being told. I think about your experience. I think about your visual comfort. I think about emotion. I think about the quality for the budget provided. I think about how you will feel in the space. I think about transition. I think about your well-being. I think about you. About creating emotion. I am a lady.